All right, we got an update for the update. Uh, situationship is over, and I'll tell you why. I'm 34 years old. Situationship will no longer be in my vocabulary after this video. Not happening. I know my worth. I know my integrity. I know what I bring to a relationship, and I'm just not made for situationships. Nope. I want to take care of you. I want to do all the things. I want to go on vacations. Let's go to fucking Disneyland. Situationships is not happening in my vocabulary anymore. I will never, ever pull back in order to get a man to rise up ever again. We all need to have this mentality. Men for women also. If they're not showing you that they want to be with you, we do not need to coddle these people anymore. Let them figure it out themselves. We don't need to heal anybody. We'll be there to support them when they need us, but we don't need to heal anyone or convince them that we are worthy of love. So basically, we have a 34-year-old Chad Chaser who is claiming she is done with situationships and now just wants to find a beta male orbiter simp to take her to Disneyland. So much to unpack here, guys. It's insane in her very, very short rant. Uh, but a couple of things that I want to comment on here. Uh, the fact that she's 34 years old. What does that tell you? 34 and she's just waking up to this epiphany now that she's been dating Chad's her entire life and it's led nowhere. She's just coming to this epiphany now after the party's over, game's over, fans have left the stands, stadium's empty. Now you finally realize your mistakes? It's too late, right? It's too late because the party's over. And for her, uh, don't, don't, believe her for, don't believe her for a second, by the way. She's 34 years old saying that she is done with chats and she's even doing this video probably to hold herself accountable. I'm done. I'm done with the chads. I'm 34. Never again. Never again am I going to let another chad in my life. I'm not doing another situation ship ever again. Fast forward 10 more years, guys. Catch her when she's 44, and I guarantee she'll have another few dozen situation ships under her belt. And she will just continue this self destructive pattern of dating. Because women like her. There's a reason why, you know, I hate to say it. She looks like a nice girl, right? She looks like a nice person. She's a DG. She's a DG. She rode the carousel by her own voluntary choice to ride the carousel, like most women in her position. Nobody is, you know, holding them at gunpoint, holding them hostage, and being like, girl, don't settle. Don't settle and get married. Ride that carousel. No, nobody's doing that. They're voluntarily choosing to do that. So... It's always funny to me when they try to get off in their 30s after the party is over. They know they can't get the attention that they used to get, you know, a decade earlier. Now I've got this epiphany. I'm not going to allow this in my life anymore. I'm not going to allow it. And it's like too late, right? Too late. Because now there's a 24-year-old version of you out there, many of them, that Chad can jump on, you know, jump to. He doesn't need to be with the 34-year-old version of you. That, you know, that ship has sailed. So to hear her rant about this and just come to this epiphany now is, I mean, sadly, it's common. She's not the only one. You have a lot of women just waking up when it's just too late. And her problem, like every other woman's problem, every other woman who has the same problem as her, because I don't know if you noticed, but... Uh, or I don't know if you could have read that, but there's like a little inscription in the beginning of her TikTok. She was responding to somebody's comment. It was another woman who said, are we dating the same guy? He must be the same guy because she's describing the same type of guy. So it's another girl, another woman, I should say, who's also in her mid thirties or older, who is complaining about the fact that she's stuck in these situationships with these chads who will have sex with them, use them for company, free rides, free gas, free uh free room and board but won't won't ever jump into an actual relationship with them at the end of the day who is allowing that to happen it's her right she is allowing this guy to come in and take advantage of her so whose fault is that it's hers right and yeah she's recognizing it finally but it's a bit too late this is something she should have recognized at minimum at minimum 10 years ago when she was 24 Okay, because 
even at 24, she only had what, like a year or so left uh, before her looks started to decline? Because for females, their looks start to decline after the age of 25. Even though I try to be generous, I always say 30, but um, 25 technically, right? From a scientific standpoint, a woman's looks begin to decline after the age of 25. So even at 24, she would have had to really get on it, right? She would have had to really get on it a decade ago. But here she is a decade later, still single, no man, no ring, no kids, no family, and clearly not happy. Clearly, right? She's not happy. I mean, like most women in their mid-30s who are doing these TikTok videos or IG videos or whatever social media platform they're using to complain about the fact that they can't find a man. They're, none of them are happy. That's why they're on there. Do you see happily married women making TikTok videos? No, they're not because they're too busy having like enjoying their lives with their husband and their kids and their children and doing family type stuff. They're not on TikTok. They're not doing this stuff and she's not getting paid for it. I mean, it'd be different if she's like a content creator like me and she's like, you know, this is, I mean, she has like tons of followers, but she doesn't. She's just ranting because she's upset. I don't blame her for being upset. But again, that was done by her own hand. Because like many women like her, most of these modern women, they bought into that social narrative in their 20s. Uh, I could do it all by myself. Don't need to get married. Don't need to have kids. I just, I, I. There's nothing wrong with riding the carousel. Nothing wrong with banging lots of men, you know? And then you see the result. You see the result. And I'm not saying she banged tons of men, but she definitely was in a lot of these situationships. So she's had some sexual partners in her past, and now she's carrying emotional baggage. What have I told you guys about the older a woman gets, the more emotional baggage she, she, she brings into her life. The more emotional baggage that accumulates in her life, right? Do you want to deal with this chick? Yeah, she just wants to go to Disneyland, but you're, I mean, she's already got like a, a ton of emotional baggage. I mean, I'll go to Disneyland, but I ain't going with her, <laughs> right? So uh, I don't buy it for a second that she's done with these chads. I think she's going to continue to date these chads. And for her, again, she's, I mean, she's not like a model or anything, but she's cute. She's cute enough. She's cute enough to have had just hundreds of nice guys that were in her friend zone that she completely ignored that completely would have married her swept her off her feet gave her the princess fantasy but nope didn't want that she wanted the chads right she wanted chads they're so hot oh i can't get enough of the chads then like many girls like her they wake up now they're you know in their 30s and they just want to go to disneyland All right so anyway guys we're gonna roll into one more clip before we close up tonight and it's just more of the same theme here with uh, women who are stuck just these poor little girls stuck in these poor situationships with these chads who won't become their boyfriend oh oh they're such victims let's roll the clip stop being sad you're single stop it let me tell you why. Okay, I've been single for a very long time. Like official dating someone. Feels like a millennium, okay? But I am not sad about it. Yeah, my moments and heartbreak sucks and I miss people and this and that and blah blah blah. blah. But I will never ever say I want a boyfriend or I need a boyfriend. That will never come out of this mouth, okay? Because I have recognized that that is the least important thing in my life. Second, I don't wake up sad. I wake up excited, excited because it has not happened to me yet. And all my friends are in long-term relationships and it's beautiful and they love each other and they've done the whole shebang. And I look at them not with sadness, but with excitement because that is something that I know will happen to me when it's supposed to happen to me. And it's like a surprise party. And like, that's just how you should look at it, okay? All right, so here we have, <laughs> yet another woman who looks like she's she's touching upon her 30s there right she's hitting her 30s there and uh, she is also hitting the same epiphany that oh i've been single for so long and i haven't had a boyfriend and one day it'll happen to me and it's like actually it won't right because 
if she keeps doing the same thing she's doing now, right, she's going to continue to just get the same result. Right? If you keep doing the same thing you're doing, don't expect a different result. You have to change what you're doing if you want a different result. And like the other chick that we covered in tonight's coaching video, her problem, as well as this chick's problem, is the same. And many like them who are in the same situation where they're stuck in these situationships chasing the chads and they can't lock him down. Their problem, they all have the same problem, is they have to lower their standards just a bit. I mean, not even a whole lot, but just a bit. Do you really need a chad to marry? Do you really think chad's going to make a good husband for the next 60 years? No, chad wants to be chad, right? You're going to have to lower your standards a little bit and just pick a guy who... Maybe he's not as hot as Chad, but he's still pretty decent looking, right? If not above average looking, right? But you know what you get in return? You get a guy who's nicer, who's going to be there for you, who's probably going to want to marry you, who's probably going to want to put a ring on your finger, have kids with you, raise a family with you, won't take off on you, won't be at pool parties without you, right? You'll get that guy. But no, these chicks, their standards are like way over here. And you know, even for their looks, like this chick, I mean, she's not a bad looking girl, right? So let's get that out of the way. She's not a bad looking girl. So you know automatically she's got a lot of beta males, a lot of nice guys in her friend zone that she could easily be in a relationship with. You know, don't feel sorry for her for one bit or any woman like her because like I said, a lot of these chicks in these situationships are pretty good looking or if not decent looking. That's the reason why they can get the chads in the first place, right? They're pretty decent looking girls. I mean, Chad's not going to go for an ugly chick. He's going to go for a pretty hot chick or a decent looking girl, right? So this chick's pretty decent looking. Tons of nice guys in her friend zone that she could easily be in a relationship with. She could call her boyfriend, her husband, if she wanted to. But no, she voluntarily is choosing to stay on the racetrack and chase that carrot around the racetrack trying to get that Chad, trying to get that super hot guy who is like a little mentally abusive, maybe even a little physically abusive, to settle down with her and raise a family with him, right? That's what she's trying to do is tame a chat. And all these chicks are cursed, right? All these chicks that are now the DG, the reason why they're the DG is because they've been cursed pretty much their entire lives and, you know, brainwashed to believe that they can get that guy. They can tame that chad. So they're cursed to chase that chad for the rest of their dating days until they're old and gray and they're living alone in a shitbox studio apartment with about 50 cats, right? And cat litter everywhere, cat poop everywhere. That's your future, girls, if you don't get more realistic. Chad is Chad. He doesn't want to have a family. That's the reason why he's Chad. He doesn't want to raise kids with you. You're never going to be able to tame him. And even if you do... You're never going to respect them once you do. And this is why I call these women damaged, right? I call them damaged because their psychological thought process is damaged. You can see it's already damaged them. It's damaged their dating life. It's damaged their opportunity to get a high value guy back in their 20s when they should have. So now they're still out here single, well into their 30s. And you know what? These chicks, I will tell you right now, if I could put money on it, I would put, I mean, I'd empty my bank account right now that these chicks are still going to be single 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now. Because these type of girls never wake up. They never wake up. They're always going to chase that magic carrot around the track, trying to tame that Chad, trying to tame that bad boy that they just can't get. When you've got all these nice guys who would have given you a happy life. All these guys that, you know, and a lot of those guys aren't even bad looking that are in their friend zone. It's not like they're like the elephant man or they're like missing eyeballs or anything like that. No, these are pretty decent looking guys, right? Maybe they don't have a six pack ab. Maybe they're not six feet tall. Maybe they're not six in the pants, right? But hey, dudes, what? 5'10", 5'11". That's a little above average, right? Or average height. 5'11", right? These guys are not male model looking, but they're attractive, right? They're, they're average or above average. They're not like butt ugly, okay? And they, you know what? They could provide you with a good life. They're hard workers. They got a decent job, okay? They come home every night. They want to have kids. They want to be there for you. They want to share experiences with you. They want to do family vacations, family reunions, you know, spend Christmas at each other's family houses, right? They want to do that stuff with you. 
And you have an opportunity to have that, what you want. But nope. Mm -mm. I want the Chad. I want to tame the Chad. That's what I'm here on this planet to do is tame the Chad. Tame the bad boy. Tame the alpha male. Forget all those nice guys. Ah, they're invisible to me. They're invisible. I want that Chad. Ooh, I knew I could get him. Just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Next thing you know, the chick's like 55 years old, still single, living in some shitbox studio apartment with cats. Okay, I, I mean, I'm a professional dating coach and I'm a professional pickup artist and I've been doing this for a long time, right? Over three decades, about like three decades now. So I've seen this play out. This, I've seen this play out with women back when I was in my early 20s, right? Women when I was in my early 20s who were like, nope, ain't gonna settle. I'm never gonna settle. I'm never gonna settle. I'm never gonna lower my standards. Even back then, before all this feminism took over, they were already saying that, like, I'm never going to settle. Not settling. No, screw those nice guys. I want the bad boys. And you know what? Those chicks, as hot as they were back then, and even to today, they're still, some of them are still fairly attractive, right? They still, you could tell they were attractive at one point. Not bad looking girls. These chicks stayed single. These chicks remained on the carousel, racked up like hundreds of thousands of miles between their vaginal, in their, you know, on their vaginal odometer. And now, are just completely damaged, completely single, and shockingly, I'm not even kidding you, shockingly, even in their late 40s, early 50s, shockingly, they're still looking for a Chad. Sad, so sad, man, so sad, when they could have had a great life, great life, if they had just chosen one of the thousands of beta orbiters in their friend zone. I mean, they have thousands that they could have chose from. They didn't want a single one of them. They wanted the dickhead, the alpha, the bad boy. And sadly, 30 years later, they're still chasing that. So sad. So sad to see. And that's why I tell younger girls who follow me, don't let that be you. Don't let that be you. Just look at these older women complaining about their dating life now. Don't let that be you, right? You got to lower your standards a bit. Lower it just a bit, girls. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit, right? Does he have to have six pack abs? Does he have to, you know, like be six foot four, 225? Does he have to have that? Right? Can he just be in pretty decent shape? Not, you know, not be a fat fuck? You know, like in just decent shape? No. Right? Lower your standards just a bit and you'll get what you want. I guarantee it. You will get what you want if you lower your standards just a bit. Most guys, even average looking guys, even hot guys, they don't have thousands of like hot like female orbiters in their in their friend zone to choose from. Most hot guys, I mean, we have to go out there and like pound the pavement, right? I mean, I'm average looking, I'm decent, right? I mean, but I have to pound the pavement, right? Because I'm competing against chats. I have to pound the pavement, right? But, you know, I mean, you have to be realistic with yourself. Otherwise, you're going to be out there like these chicks, well into your middle ages, still chasing that invisible carrot around the track. With that said, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of their little rants in tonight's coaching video, as well as my own. Share your experiences, any you've had. And I uh, always love to see you guys in my comments. I always love to read them. Very entertaining, so drop them below. So until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets signing out. Go ahead and smash that like button below. Also, guys, make sure you hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on my YouTube channel. More importantly, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel, okay? Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton. It tells YouTube that you are loving my videos, you're digging it, you want me to come out here to Vegas even more and shoot more coaching videos for you that can help you, educate you, and take you to the next level in life. Take you into a whole new dimension that the mainstream parents, teachers, society never, ever taught you about, never even told you about because they themselves weren't aware of it. Right? So please make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months of Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students 
are out there cold approaching and closing every single week. I kid you not, every single week, no matter what chaos is going on in the world, no matter what nonsense is going on out there, we are still making things happen. That is the absolute best way to support my work by jumping into seven months of mastery. And right now, the first month is only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons. It's only one dollar. And all you need to do to get signed up is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.